Wow, it's you. We're back again. Welcome home. It's an, it's an honor to be back home. Well, believe it or not, we're about to drop. Once again. <laughs> Once again. Woo! The voice sounds familiar. All right. We are coming in soul food. Filet of soul sock. Wow. And featuring none other than my favorite, the soursop. Ripe and ready. You could tell when these types of fruits are ripe and ready, the bees come home. Mm -hmm. Look at them. They're right here. So I'm peeling this ripe soursop so I can fillet it because we have the great accompaniment ready for it to get the fillet of soul sop ready for you. So this was 12 months ago, right? 12 months ago. No, this, this, this is... Uh, More than that, 18 months ago. Yeah, we're, we're, we're talking, let me see. Uh, we're talking about 112 years ago? Yes. <laughs> yes. Grandma seasoned the kingfish in a certain way, and I hung out with her in her kitchen about 70 years ago and help her season the kingfish. But since now I'm the king and I'm not a fish, we are gonna keep it live. We're gonna keep it plant food wise and we're coming in with all of the seasoning. Look, grandma used to use that thyme in it. My goodness. But you know, she used to stuff the kingfish. And since I am a king, and I'm not to be stuffed, <laughs> we're going to batter me. Cover me with this batter. Just like we're going to cover our filet of soul, we're going to cover it with a batter that's out of this world. You see how this, you see how this soursop just peels? It peels so easy, so nice, so evenly, when it's fully ripe and ready, which means it's been cooked to perfection by the sun. And you see how, look at, look at how that skin just comes. Look at it. It's like, you know, I see some man them do this with fish, you know. They might peel the skin off the fish like so. Yeah. <laughs> but since we're not, we're not dealing with fish, we're dealing with, wow, we're dealing with soul. We're taking the soul out of the sour sap. We are the, taking the soul out of, of the, the sour, sour sap. sap. <laughs> now look, we've just taken the skin off of the sour sock all over here, down in here. We're going to get the skin off of here. We're coming down here, and we're going to get the rest when we come back down here. But look, see how easy the skin comes off? Because it's ripened to perfection, cooked by the sun. So this is why the bees are coming home. Now I'm going to get my special fillet knife here and i'm gonna really just get this like from starting from right here i'm coming in and i'm going right between the seed and the soul <laughs> the seed and the soul of the sock right here and we're filleting this and what i'm gonna do from right here i'm gonna create that space for this fillet right here. We just flip it off. We just let it slip out just like this. So you don't have to pick them out. So here's one with a seed. We're leaving this one for the juice. This is the, this is the base of the juice. What does it make it with the soul? It's going to go with the juice. So here, let's get another slice out of this side here, let's, let's bring it up. Yeah, let's bring it up here. Wow, here we go. So let's, let's come back to this side here. Wow, and when we do this, ah, look at that. Wow. Look at, just, just like grandma's kingfish. Oh yes, let's get the soul out of this filet here, just like that, wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. 
perfect. Slice to perfection. Wow, wow, wow. So we have a little more room in our, our dish there for one more fillet. One more fillet. Here it is. It's right up on the head. Let's peel that skin off and coming for this one here as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Just like this. Just right there. We have got it right there. Coming in. Woo! Now, we're turning our attention to the batter. This is my favorite batter. bit. This, this is the meal that got me hooked onto some fried foods, by the way. This one had me, had me at the soul. When I tasted this, that was it for me. I was converted. That was it. A team sun fired for life. Mm, mm, mm. Here we are, family. We're coming in with the C, food. S-E-E, -E, food. You can see that this is food. This one right here came from right on the other side of this river, where this river meets the sea. Sea moss. Yes. Caribbean sea moss from Panama. Look at it. And we could tell now. Let me share with you something. You could tell when you see this, your sea moss looking like this, and you see this part right here, that's the part that was attached to the coral reef. That's where it was rooted. So we're coming in right into our processor with that. Let's come in with some other sea vegetation. We have this one here. This one came from the Orient, the Orient from Japan. Look at that. This is the Ijiki. So the Ijiki or Iziki is this one right here. Very fine, very, very fine. But when we soak it, we soak that much and this is what we got, okay? So we're talking uh, half a cup of Iziki seaweed coming in. This one here, wow, the Arame. Mm. This is the Arame seaweed coming right in right here. This one, this, this, this is incredible. This one is the wakame. This is how it started off. That, that, and look at our, they just dried in the sun. The minerals that are in these seaweeds are incredible. So we're putting one cup of wakame seaweed, W-A-K-A-M-E, right into our food processor. We're coming right in with these things. Let's get these over there once we finish with them. So we've got these four seed plants here, seaweeds, right into our machine. And we're going to, we're going to herb them. We're going to put some thyme in here. We're coming with one tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves coming in. We have a couple of seasoning spices here. Allspice, pimento. Jamaican all oh, the spice. Traditions. Whoa! Mm -hmm. And we went all the way to India to get this next one here. The black salt. Wow. Kala namak. Because since we don't have no salt fish, we have to get a little salt that's got the sulfur in it that can leave the body. So the kala namak, we have one teaspoon of kala namak, one teaspoon of all spice coming right in. Woo! We got another seaweed. This is the dulse, D-U-L-S-E, dulse sea. This is like a sea lettuce. See, these are grass growing under the sea, you know, but they're so rich in, in micro minerals that this is the best place for us to get them because the micro minerals are, went down to the bottom of the ocean with the erosion of the topsoil from the planet. All these agricultural uh, industrial revolution or agricultural revolution that been going and digging up the soil. Your favorite. My favorite. You know, back at y'all, we call, it, we call this thing <laughs> Duffy Sawasap. Duffy Sawasap. Woo! Complete cellular detoxifier. This is the way. This so, will clean you right out. <laughs> all it. No. The only way you're going to know that you've been taking some noni is that your loads are going to be heavier when you go and <laughs> post that letter. So we're going to put one ounce of the noni juice. 
Let's go ahead and put two cups of scallion right in there. We got our two cups of scallions. Let's put some garlic. We've got two large cloves of garlic. We drop it in straight in just like that. And we have ginger. Let's slice up this one inch piece of ginger. We'll slice it up and drop it right in the mix right here. Whoa. Let's go ahead. We're going to keep processing this. And in the meantime, we have one stalk of celery with the leaves and all, about one inch size pieces, a little smaller than that, right about there. And we're going to drop those in and get some celery vibration off into here as well. That's it. We process very little, very deliberately, just one step at a time. Okay, so this is what we've got here with the celery. We've got one and a half cups of celery stalks with leaves and all, dropping it right in. Mm -mm -mm. We need to take this one all the way up to the sky. We got the hot bonnet. Some of you call it scotch bonnet, but this, mine didn't come from Scotland. It came from Jamaica. <laughs> okay, so it's a hot bonnet from in my language. And we're going to put some lime juice in there. We have one ounce of lime juice going in. We have... Put it in there. With the seeds. With the seeds. With the seeds. The seeds. We're coming in hot. Woo! Hot, I can smell hot. it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Boy, I me, 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 me went down, down the road by the man who just take the, 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 the nice look of wood there and him just put a look of burn on it and capture the smoke so we have some liquid smoke. Yes. One teaspoon of liquid smoke. smoke. Then let's go up and, and cut these tomatoes up. We have three plummy tomatoes, as we call them in Jamaica. Plum tomatoes over here somewhere. Uh, tomate ferita, we call them here in Panama. You know, or the Roma tomatoes. Yes, the Roma tomatoes, Italy. That, that's their favorite over there. We're dropping that in. And we're going to get some colors in the seasoning. We're getting all the colors. So we're going to drop the gold in here as well. So it looks like we have two cups of tomato. And let's, let's get some of this gold yellow pepper here coming in right here. We have a half of a yellow pepper without the seed. Let's cut it up in small pieces. Drop it right in there. And in the meantime, while I take this to kiss the sky, we're going to now go to the next step with the onion. We're going to slice our onions right here. We have one red onion. So we want onion rings. We're not putting this in the mix. So right here, Victoria, you're going to go ahead and put the top on mm -hmm. right there, and you're going to run that machine. So in the meantime, I'm slicing our onions. So you have the onion rings to go in this mix here. Go ahead. the machine, we'll clear the sides. Take the top off, we we'll clear the sides of the machine. And we have these onion rings. Wow, wow, wow. We are getting it ready for you, family. Serious filet of soul sauce. Before you, you drop that on, let's put some linseed. We call it in Jamaica, we call it linseed. Y'all on the side, you call it flaxseed. So we're putting one half of that. So yeah, one half of the content of our container there, and one half, that's, that's good, right there. That's a half a cup of flaxseed meal. Brown flaxseed. Let's keep. Let's turn it on. Keep it moving. Turn it on. One, one more thing. Let's stop the machine right there. Let's get some oil in there. Some olive oil. Just spray it in, just like this. Come on, just spray it in. We're gonna spray two tablespoons of olive oil right into our, our machine right here. Get about four more squirts and we have two tablespoons. That's it, two tablespoons of olive oil. Let's get the, the, the spatula and clear the side. Get everything down into the mix. 
and we are going to get ready to batter our filet of soul sop. It's coming in, bringing it in here. <coughs> Get our bowl. Let's get our bowl to clear it into. Let's flip this off here, mm -hmm. and let's clean this here. Let's mm -hmm. clean the that. Let's move this, move it off, up and out. Yes, here comes our bowl right here, and we're gonna drop this mix in. Let's get our rag, wipe the table off right here. There you go, right here. This is it, right here. Just wipe it off. And we have a special treat for you coming up. Let's first get this out. Here is uh, my bowl here. I'm going to place the batter in the bowl. Get your spatula. Clear this off. And then we're going to come on with what's in the bowl and get it out. Okay, I'm going to get my dehydrated trays ready here so that we can lay this out. There you go. Let's get our, wow, our filet. The smell, wow. Woo! Woo! The spice, the seaweed, the sea moss. Woo! I can smell the thyme. <sighs> Everything. More just, time. Woo! More time. Perfection. Okay. We're going to spread this, this batter here right on to our filet. Let's, let's grab a load right here, and we're going to spread it right onto the filet, just like this here. And all the way here, just like this, spreading that batter, spreading that love, just all around. Just like it, all the way. We cover every inch of the filet that we can see. Get it all covered up nice. And cover the other side here. So we come in right, right around this corner over here. Mm -hmm. A little more on the side. Okay. It looks like we got the base is covered. Let's move this bowl aside over there. We're going to come right here. Lift this one out. Wow. I'm just going to do the flip. Right there. Wow. Woo! Perfect. This is it. This is how we do it. Bringing it in. Bring it right into you here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoops. Turn that tray around. Let me get this one here. Come this side. Bring my empty space over here. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and keep turning it. Right there, right there. Wow. Okay. This is it. Now you're going to go ahead. Where's the batter? Let's go ahead. Here you go. Just put it right on top of there. Nice and easy, family. Mm. I love my grandma. She set me up, you know, from Barbados. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead, put it all over and all of those. Share it, share it, share it, share it. You know, Barbados have a thing over there they call flying fish. You ever see them flying fish? Well, one day, there's a legend that goes that one day one of those fish flew up into a tree and never come back out. And then all of a sudden, this tree started bearing fish. So we call it tree fish. And we season it just like this. Tree fish, look out. It's coming. We're going to have that tree fish recipe for you in our upcoming book. Yes, Sunfire, the soul of food. And of course, 
You know where you're going to find it? In the seed food section. <laughs> the section that makes you see food, real food, right next to the fillet of soul salt. So you ready for the tree fish? You ready for that flying fish that flew up into a tree and dropped his eggs in that tree and the tree start bearing fish? You heard about the mermaid, right? Yeah. All right. So if you believe the mermaid, I know you believe me about the, the legend of the flying fish. Family, thank you so much. Thank My beautiful you. Victoria. Wow. A pleasure. Is this amazing? <laughs> We're back again. Is this amazing? Incredible. It's, people ask me, what's the taste of this dish? And uh, words can't even justify. Mm. Sweet and creamy on the inside, spicy, zesty, mm. delightful and divine. And on the outside, it is a, it's one of my favorite dishes from the Sun Fried Cuisine. It's the one that snatched my soul. Woo! Snatched my soul. All right, well, welcome home. I'm, I'm glad to be back home. All right, family, this is how we do it. But we got one more something for them, you know. Woo! We got one more something for them. Mm. Well, we, definitely you're gonna put the, the onion rings on top of this. Of course. <laughs> yeah, we want the onion rings here. Let's get the onion rings. We want that onion dry. Just like our grandma did our kingfish and it was with the escobish here. Look, you ever see this? Boy. Woo. Have you ever? Look at that. Straight from the farm. We picked these yesterday so, from the San Pedro yeah. farm. So grandma did an escobish with some lemon juice on them something there. We are doing it with cabbage. This is the caviar lemon. <laughs> wow, let's drop it. Let's bust the caviar lemon, let me drop it right and then let them just crisp up right into the flaxseed batter with the seaweed and you're gonna get that nice lemony strike coming right at you with the hot bonnet pepper, the liquid smoke. Please, I know you can't wait. I'm waiting though. I'm going to wait eight hours for these to come through from the dehydrator. I'm going to put them in there for, for at 120 degrees for eight hours. Look at this caviar. This guy is something else. He's just laying his eggs right on top of the, the, the sole, the filet of sole. Woo! Have you ever. Talking about medicine, we've got a surprise for them, haven't we? We got many Woo! surprises for them right here. So, you are what you eat. Guess what? If you eat this way, no way you're going to get sick. No way you're going to get sick. So, if you eat life, you're going to just exude life. There we go. Come on. Let's, let's get... Look at this one. Look, this okay. is like... Oh, whoa! whoa. <laughs> Boy, you see the, the energy was too that, electrical. Alive. It's live, electrical. <laughs> Look at the it's so peak. Oh Beautiful. my goodness. Look, you see the difference between them two? And look at that. The pink one then. Have you never heard about caviar lemon? Where you there? You there in the jungle? <laughs> we are out here in the churches. Reclaiming our inheritance right here. This is what we're doing. Living on the land and loving it. Wow. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. It's an honor. It's, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. <laughs> wow. Family, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming home. Thank you for inspiring us to bring this one to you. We have put this up on, on IG, and people like, recipe, please, recipe, please. Look, oh, enough one been asking for recipes for over 50 years, but it's not drop now, okay? We're going to drop it in the book, Sun Fired, the Soul of Food. Stay tuned right here to get your pre-order copy. We're going to let, let it out of the bag very soon. Love you, and... See your face right here at the Sunfire Culinary Institute. We are in the rainforest of Panama. We are at the land of life. And go to sunfire.academy 
and you're going to see how to find your way here. Love you, my family. Thank you. Love you, my sister. I love you, too. Okay. <laughs> Thank More you, Dr. Love Reese. to you. Peace. Peace. Wow, I've never seen that before. <laughs> it was too much for the phone to handle. Yeah. The thing is, unless it's published, I don't think it says.